All right guys, how you going? So doing a little bit of a, a maintenance inspection after the Cobora Friday night with the Bajero Club. Uh, and again, I just recently got back from uh, Border Track. So uh, it's been a week up there in South Australia, the Victorian border. Yeah, there's a few little rattles and whatnot. So worthwhile going in and uh, just having a look for everything. We've got a big trip plan next year and Beetle, so um, again, that's about you know nine months away, but um, want to make sure everything's right. So let's go in and have a look. And again, all this, if we pick up anything, might not necessarily be from those last couple of trips, just generally over a period of time. So let's see if we'll, let's see what we find. All right, so straight off the bat, I know for a fact I've got broken light here, so we'll have to get a new lens for that. Um, I know there's a couple of lights out um, on the headlights. So we'll get those sorted. Uh, one thing I realised from this nighttime fall driving trip is this is connected to my main cranking battery. And uh, yeah, after a night of fall driving and having that on all night, um, I ended up flooding my cranking battery out in the trip. So I've got another secondary battery underneath the bonnet, which I think I'm going to rewire that up and then hook that up to the secondary battery. So if you're planning on doing any night fall driving, definitely worthwhile doing. Um, I've had this antenna now on for a good three weeks now. I was concerned potentially on the mountain how it would hold up on cor corrugations and four wheel driving and so forth. And so far it's been perfect, no issues whatsoever. Uh, I've got a video on the channel if you want to check it out on the installation on the GMECB and the actual antenna as well. So if you want to go check that out, go for it. All right, see, this is where now some of the damage comes in. All right, so. I've got these little cheap and cheerful Chinese side steps off the internet. They look good, but uh, they are absolutely trashed. So this actually, on this side, actually happened at Cobor. I'll give you a bit of a look underneath, but yeah, they're pretty useless. They look good, but if you're going to do any rock crawling or anything like that, I would suggest you uh, invest in something a bit more stronger. There's a few out in the market now, but I'm also worried about weight. Um, especially with um, Ann Beetle and I just want to make sure I get something decent but also try and keep the weight down uh, as much as possible um, I think we're all aware with the Pajeros sometimes weight can be a bit of an issue so alright guys so this is what she looks like underneath so you can see how badly mangled these things are. Even the mount on the car there is a little bit bent. But that one got absolutely trashed. Um, and if we come further down here, on this mount here, this one's probably not as bad. And then same further up to the front, um, not as bad. So. They should be pretty easy to get off. Maybe that last one, not so much. And here's the next problem I found. So this is the protector around the petrol tank. I've actually had this replaced once before, but they're pretty useless. So I'm gonna have to see if there's something aftermarket that um, I might be able to replace this thing with. Um, again, it's pretty much shattered everywhere. So, uh, I don't think it could have been Cobor actually because I copped up all I copped up I copped all of this damage here at Cobor that night and it's all on this side of the car. All right, so while I was uh, under here, um, I noticed a bit of oil, and uh, yeah, so I went uh, and had a bit of a look and look what I found. So yeah. Another job to add to the list. So we'll um, have to work out how we're going to fix this up and get it all cleaned up. And hopefully it's just the boot and there's no other damage internal. So, eh, that'll be a fun one. Haven't done it before, so let's see if it's something I can ta tackle myself. Or oh, take to the mechanic. So as you can see, there's oil or grease being sprayed everywhere. I'm keen to do it all myself. Important to get to know your four wheel drive. So shockers all look fine. Um, springs look fine. 
um, airbags all good um, so yeah we'll get it all cleaned up and work out um, how to change this thing and again I might do a video <laughs> all right let's go around the other side and see what uh, we find all right the rear of the car now and the only thing really obvious is just the mount for the trailer is uh, a little bit bent so we'll straighten that up one of the best investments I've ever made was <laughs> this uh, bash plate for the um, this bash plate for the bumper. Yeah, so this bash plate has been an absolute lifesaver. Um, I put this on, lo and behold, um, after my last trip to Cobor, because I nearly peeled the bumper off. So uh, yeah, definitely a, a must have, especially on the Pajero. Um, these bumpers get peeled back all the time. Uh, relatively inexpensive. I got these through Booze Bash Plates, but he's defunct now. So, yes, yeah, so you'll have to find a new supplier. There's a few of them out there, but uh, yeah, for the Pajeros, I definitely highly recommend. Oh, I can also see the rubbers underneath the springs are a little bit worse for wear. So, another job. Again, CV boots on this side all look fine, no issues. So, all right, let's go around the other side. Uh, and I get, I've got the old man emu suspension. Um, I replaced these a few years back, so um, they should all be good. All right, guys, so looking at this side of the car, so we've got similar problem, angle side step. That was from Central Australia last year though, so no big deal. You can see a lot of the brackets underneath have taken a bit of a beating also which again no big deal uh, but as you can see these sides are definitely very different to the other side <laughs> all right let's go underneath and have a look uh, you can see though this side step has been pushed back and is quite close to the rear tire uh, I reckon when I replace these tyres and put some new tread on them, um, that'll be an issue. So we'll have to fix that. As you can see from the brackets, this side step has been pushed back about 100 mil. So uh, yeah, that definitely will need to be um, addressed. As you can see how bent they are. All right, and here's my next issue. So this is where I got hung up um, on that rock. Um, so again, I assume this is the catalytic converter. You've got muffler here, and another one up the front. Not 100% sure, but we'll find out. But yeah, okay, this one over here is actually robbing on the chassis now. So that's been, uh, pushed up. Now there's a few mounts around. So we're going to have to basically get this sorted out because that's pushing it upwards. Um, again, whether or not this gets cut off, cut off from the new piece put in, probably the best way to do it. That should fix the issue. And then everything else should drop down because at the moment that's just pushing it up. All right, so we'll have to take that off. Good luck with these bolts. Hopefully they're not too rusted on. And as you can see with the exhaust, there's several of these mounts holding it in place. So this one's been twisted about. So yeah, all right, that one's not too bad then. Go across here to my uh, trusty transfer case. You can see that's um, some drag marks from the rocks. That's all right, no big deal. Cross member all looks good. Drive shafts look good. Yeah, we'll go into the other end because we've got a bit of a vibration when we go into idle. So I just want to check um, to basically see 
um, check the engine mounts uh, and we'll take off that bash plate and get that cleaned out as well because yeah I'm told uh, the vibration when I go into idle in gear could be due to engine mounts so and the multitude of other things but let's check those first all right so this is a, a new bash plate because we just replaced it a few weeks ago so that's copped a bit of a beating it's been bashed in you need to be just careful because the intercooler behind it last time this ended up pressing up against it and rubbing and causing putting a hole in the intercooler so um, yeah we'll just make sure we get that um all uh, bashed out so let's pull this off and um see if there's uh, any other damage because when i pop around the corner here i can see a bit of an oil leak and i reckon i've cracked the intercooler and i just replaced the intercooler two weeks ago so yeah i think i might need to invest in uh, a bit of bash plate for the front so yeah expensive <laughs> all right guys so i've got the bash plate off <laughs> and you can see it's uh copped a bit of a hit on the bottom which again that's all good but then around here because it's been pushed up and there's a bit of an oil leak so let's hope it's coming from the hose but I think we've put a hole in the intercooler and cracked it. So, all right, let's delve in a bit deeper and see what happens. All right, guys, so as you can see, she's pretty mangled, like, but like, there's a little bit of oil, a tiny little bit, but like, I reckon there's just maybe a tiny little crack or something. So, um, yeah. Only way to suss this out is to rip it out. I mean, I need to anyway and get those brackets fixed. So, and oh, the other side, maybe it's been bent up a little bit. It's definitely taken a bit of a hit. Alrighty, more money. Ching ching. Hopefully this could be an easy one. And I wonder if this is what's actually causing the rough idle when you pop it into gear. Again, it's only an idle when it's in gear. I haven't checked the engine mounts yet though. Alright guys, so that completes the damage report on the beast. Um, so we'll see what I ended up doing myself or what I end up going to the mechanic for. But um, yeah, look out for future videos um, and we'll yeah, take you along the journey. I've had this Pajero now for over 15 years. It's literally changed my life because it's taken me to places I don't think I would have ever gone. Um, and it's taken me in a direction um, with my family to experience all sorts of things, uh, especially across Australia and Victoria. So yeah, very grateful for the car and very grateful to uh, Alberto for steering me off in this direction. Uh, Alberto's from the Jerry Bob. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the channel. Any feedback, any advice, drop them in the comments below. Uh, I'll be much appreciated and I shall see you in the next video. Cheers guys. Bye.